Hey guys, 8BitScript here and welcome to another Unity Playmaker tutorial. So in this video, we are going to get some enemies into our game. Now, if this is you joining in this video, uh, you need to go to the first lesson if you want to follow. I'll pop that in the top right card up here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, all, all the files you need, like links to all the assets are all there. And yeah, so let's get into this one where we're actually going to create some enemy formations. <clears throat> so first of all, we've got two enemies here. So let's get them in to our scene. And we're going to start with a red fly here. And we're going to scale it down. So it's just a bit smaller than how it is in there. Okay, uh, so it's still a bit big. Want it a similar size? Actually, that could be okay. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pop that zero on the X, zero on the Y, and then say, let's put that on four. Okay, and then I'm going to get my two sprites here, drag it onto sprite one to create an animation. Call animations, and we'll call it horn fly. And I'm also going to rename this one to be horn fly. Next, I'm going to do the same with my fly. I'm going to drag that onto the scene. And let's see. So let's copy the scales for this from here. So if you can see here, we're going to copy this information onto the fly here to make sure then that they are the same size. There we go. Okay. And we'll put that on zero on the X and two on the <coughs> Y there. And we'll just animate him. And we'll call that one fly. Animations folder fly. Okay, and then we'll just name this one fly. <coughs> now we need to give them both a tag. So we'll just go choose one of them. And then again here, where it says untagged, click here, and then we're going to add tag, add a new tag here called enemy, and then we'll add that tag to both here. <clears throat> okay, next we're going to add a polygon collider to both of them, make them a trigger. <clears throat> okay, and then um, we're going to need to add something here so that when they hit it, they'll be destroyed. So we're gonna add an empty game object We'll call this our cleaner. Again, we're going to add a tag to this one. And we'll call that cleaner. And we'll add that to our cleaner here. <clears throat> and all we need for this one is actually, first of all, I shouldn't move my camera. On the position here in your transform, you're going to set them all to zero. And then we're going to add component a box collider 2D. <clears throat> and then just here, you'll see the edit collider. We'll click on this. And we're going to click on one of the squares here. Press Alt or ALT on the keyboard and scale it so it covers the camera there. And then we're just going to move that out to say here. Okay. And then with our flies here, we're going to add an FSM. And we'll call this cleanup. And then we'll call this wait to touch cleaner. And this one, destroy 
itself. <clears throat> okay, and then here we're just going to add a finish transition, link those together. And then here we'll go to our uh, trigger to the event. And then we'll put here destroy self. And this one was going to put for cleaner and then finished. Okay. And then the same for this one for now. The fly is done. So we'll copy that from here. So we'll click copy and then fly, we'll paste that onto here. <clears throat> and that's now done. Okay, so we've got these guys sorted. So what we're gonna do is go to our assets file here and we're gonna create a new folder. So create folder called prefabs. And for now, we'll pop these guys in here. Okay, <clears throat> and we can then delete these. Now, we want to create some kind of formations of enemies. So to do this, we're gonna create an empty object and we'll call this formation one. Now I'm gonna again set this to zero. And what I'll do is here we'll add a tag and we'll call this formation. Add that to here. Then we'll add a, we could use a box collider 2D. Even that size is fine. I'm just gonna make it a trigger. And then we're going to add an FSM. First we'll call this one movement and we'll say this is move and for this what we need to do is add um, a set velocity set velocity 2d and for this one we are going to create a variable for the x-axis here. Uh, so we'll create a new global layer called enemy speed. Okay, and then we'll go to our global variables here. Move that one so I don't get confused. And we'll set this for now to minus four. Okay, and then what we can do is just say we'll add a bug in we'll pop him into here. We can then duplicate him. So we'll add another two there, okay. And what we'll do is, in our transform, we'll move one to, to two, and this one to say minus two. And then we can put one more and set this to minus four. And then we will parent nose to formation one here. And if we drag this off scene, okay, and then uh, let's have a look, let's make sure it's gonna work. We're probably gonna want a rigid body on here as well to actually make this work. But we'll set gravity scale to zero and then freeze on there. Okay, I just realized we want to make sure that these are all lining up with this one. So uh, let's drag these out for now. And we'll set these to be zero on there. 
with zero on here. Okay, and then we can pair them to that. Just make sure that they all match up so that when we get our formation here, we can move them together. Okay, let's hit play and see if that works. Put every frame here. Now, hopefully, this one will make them all move, and there we go. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> so they're working. So we can now just put one more thing on here, a new FSM. I'm going to call this cleanup. Okay, and what we'll do is add a state. Finished on there, link them together. Okay, and put on cleaner touch. And then here we can say destroy self. And we'll put a trigger to the event here. And choose cleaner and then finished, and then destroy self in real time. Okay, and then hopefully we'll see when it touches our cleaner, if we hit play. When they hit here, it should be destroyed. And there we go, perfect. Okay, so we can put formation one in here. We can then unpack this prefab. And then we could also, we can then just change things be like that onto zero. And this will be two, formation, say two. Pop that in there. Uh, and then we can change, a Make a few of these like this, unpack again. Um, we will make this one. So that one, let's put that back to minus four. Sorry, not minus four, four. And we can say this one is now zero. And this one is minus two. And rename that to be formation three. We could also do the same. We could actually say remove some. Let's unpack the prefab again. We could remove, say, you and you. And we can just have literally a formation of two of them here, which we call formation four. And then formation five, let's add some of our uh, flies in. Okay, we'll set that to be zero here. So then we can get our fly to say minus four. And we'll get rid of this one here and put in another fly. And this one we will do four. And we can then pop them in to there. And that can be F2 formation five. Okay, so um, create a few different formations of how you want to do things, okay? Um, and then we'll be ready for the next lesson. We're actually gonna spawn them in. So we'll leave that there. Okay, um, out of this lesson, I'll create a few different formations, okay? And we're just gonna get a few, say five, six, maybe even 10 to cycle through. And yeah, so in the next lesson, I'll show you ones I've made after, and then I'll show you how we're gonna get them to spawn into the scene, okay? And I will see you in that one. If you like this tutorial series so far, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one. And until then, 8-Bit Squid out.